if you have clicked on this video do not leave you will regret it if you ever come across this type of situation doesn't matter if it's in any game on planet roblox uh, minecraft if it's even on discord you should know this is for you and your uh, friends safety online from potential scams over these apps that will vanish your account from ex existence if you ignore this video all right so hopefully that convinced you to see this topic that's been around actually over two years so far as i can trace but it's been increasing like 10 million times last couple of months so i just wanted to get your attention before what i'm about to show you is an incident that first happened to me back one month ago have a look for yourself now this guy does keep changing his name so it's hard to find him or girl let's not judge genders in 2021 but he pretended to be a gfx artist which is a common thing in roblox scammers that they pretend to be a gfx artist so they can gain trust and show some other people's work i asked for his work and he showed after like five minutes later and being a scammer even you probably would have some sort of images with you at that time no he sent me a pic of a guy from of twitter called freds yt and saying as his recent work even though fred hasn't logged in his twitter for last two years i'm not sure of who is he but i already had caught him in just few moments i wanted to go with how he's talking so i can get more evidence about how these things go he asked me to check a link i very cleverly instead of using his link that i think had some zalgo or some sort of characters that it wasn't loading in youtube and then apparently the next time he sent the same link it worked i'm pretty sure there's some hidden characters so he actually sent a real youtube link this time and watching it it asked for a dot har file now if i will have this documentation by google linked below that explains it uh, for more techie nerds then in simple an HAR file is specification for the HTTP archive format defines an archival format for HTTP HTTP transactions that can be used by a web browser to export detailed performance data about web pages it loads. Now wait 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 before you freak out let me explain it in a more easier way be uh, before your brain catches on fire. Now you may have heard of this term called cookie logger. If you are like what the heck is a cookie logger? A cookie logger means logging a cookie. Uh, which uh, imagine you're the owner of a house you have a family also your family is inside the house and go out for some work when you come back to your house you open a door you put in your house key and it opens the only way to open that door is via a key or from someone inside the house who opens it directly let's change these things i just told you you being your pc your house being the website server let's just say roblox in in this case the key you used is basically a cookie and the door being the login page or something that makes sure the person who is entering is supposed to be the person who saying it is. The server sees you and checks if the key is correct in your hand and, or the door whatever. But if someone else gets your key and does the same the server will just be like oh yeah it's the same person and will let you in. The only thing that door is doing is checking if the key is used by a person. Anybody can use your PC by putting a password. Anybody can enter your house by using that key. What the HR file is doing is acting as if the other person is you without having to do that 2FA, finding password, anything else. And lets you in if you open the website like today, you don't have to enter passwords every single day, right? Thing happens to, and I'll get on to that in a second, but I'm oversimplifying the HR file and browser cookie so majority of people can understand. And I still know dozens of you are not going to have a single clue what's going on. You can try re-watching the house example I just gave, but what a HR file is, these file contains somewhere usually a unique code like just bunch of random numbers that is unique between you and the server. In only two places have the same key and if your key matches with the server, the server knows this person is this. I can literally pretend I am you in that website it was downloaded from by changing my FR file with yours and boom, all your robux are mine. <laughs> Also shout out to Boar was taken over on Twitter for helping me out with some of these screenshots you see on this video. Now I am not saying you have fallen for this, you will be falling for this or anything like that but 
these seem to be getting pretty common and there are more genius ways uh, scammers are coming up with to do this scam so be careful hr file is still a hr file doesn't matter if you click on any other website it still will be the same file if you happen to fall for any of these or click the links by mistake they gave and send these idiots the hr file or any of the files they ask for not knowing what the file can actually do if you realize it fast enough that they were a scammer and haven't done anything yet buy a simple logout from all devices button usually in, in settings there is a button the scammers don't log you out want to know why because every time uh, someone clicks that button or somebody just logs out from all the devices the HAR file gets reset that file basically will be just a random text file for them after once you have uh, the old file digits get changed is what I'm getting to know by reading this Google Docs or GitHub if it's too late to do any of this and you all are already if you have already lost your Robux Minecraft account discord account whatever it can be contacting the company support team is, should probably be the best solution and telling them truthfully whatever happened with enough evidence with screenshots and everything and how you got baited into doing this should hopefully get your account back if you need any further support in some more stuff regarding this or anything else you can ask me over on my discord server and i'll do my best to help you in my case at least i by mistake clicked a suspicious link and realizing that it was not the correct link i instantly disabled my account for a few hours so it kills the hr file like makes it just garbage and few hours later i logged back in i did it just for my own safety i don't think actually anything happened much but giving access to my discord account can be a huge privacy issue so and also as i said never trust a random person who is nice enough to give you free stuff on meeting you for the first time check out my other videos also to keep yourself entertained while this pandemic is over there hope you are all safe subscribe to my channel leave a like if this thing was any informative and catch you next time if you realize it fast enough that they were a scammer and they haven't done it and do, haven't done anything yet what i find really funny is that he said you have a nice avatar to this meme i made like months ago <laughs>